Hey everybody, welcome back to Ask the Pastor ATP. This is Pastor Joshua Sullivan at Holy Cross Lutheran Church, Kerrville, Texas, answering your questions. Today we're going to take two questions that we've received recently that are very similar, uh, and they're actually almost two sides of the same coin, and you'll see what I mean here in just a moment. They both, in deal, they both deal with uh, seminary preparation for the Holy Ministry. Someone asks, Hello Father, I was wondering if I was to be willing to give my life to the Lord, which seminary would be good in California? First of all, thanks for your question, and thank you for your interest in serving the Lord in the holy ministry of the Word and the sacraments. Um, now before we get to your question, I, th I think it's worth reminding everyone that St. Paul says in 1 Timothy 3, verse 1, that anyone who desires the work of a bishop, or the work of a pastor, I, the office of the ministry, uh, desires a good work then. So this is, this is a noble calling. Uh, because it is an office of service. It's the office of Christ standing in his stead and by his command, uh, giving God's people God's things as a steward of the mysteries of God, 1 Corinthians 4.1. So, so this is a good work um, which you desire then. A and pr seminary preparation is the best way then to prepare oneself so that the Lord can call you into the ministry then. Uh, also, I think it bears, uh, it bears repeating too what... The Lord Jesus says in Luke chapter 10, uh, he says in verse 2, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. So you know, as, we, as we look out in the world, I, I think anyone with Christian sensibilities can see that the world is a great big harvest field uh, full of folks who have not heard the gospel or who have misunderstandings of the gospel uh, and, and aren't receiving its benefits because of that misunderstanding. And so um, this is a great task to which the Lord calls us. And uh, this is something the church does every Sunday in her prayers, but also individuals do a lot in, uh, in, in their own private piety and prayers. And that is pray to the Lord of the harvest that he would continually prepare and send workers out into his uh, out into his harvest field, or into his vineyard, as he says in other places. Then, so uh, so this is a good work. It's also a very difficult work, um, a challenging work in its own right. It's also a very rewarding work. So as you set out uh, at the beginning of this path, if you so choose to present yourself uh, to the Lord for this, go to seminary and, and learn, etc. Then, uh, this is a good and noble task. Now, uh, to get to your question here. Which seminary would be good in California? Uh, the, the real quick answer is none, and, and here's why. I think first of all, we're running we're running into a we're running in a bad way here with the way we're asking the question. You don't mean it this way, of course. I mean, uh, but it's uh, it's gonna it's gonna lead us to an odd place, a bad place, if we pursue the question like this. Which seminary would be good in California? Right off the bat, um, you're making location the chief reason um, or, or one of the chief reasons for selecting a seminary. Uh, now, I don't know your situation. I don't know you from Adam. Uh, I'm assuming you live in California and you want to stay in California or for some, I'm, I'm assuming there's logistical reasons why you want to stay in California for the seminary. However, um, it's never a good idea to, cho to choose seminary or a church based solely on the location. I think we've made this comment before regarding how to select a church, and that is the one thing that you look for in a church isn't the number of programs, the number of gimmicks, uh, the number of people, or any of these sorts of things. The way you choose a church is, does it teach the whole counsel of God? Does it teach the all things that Jesus commands to be observed and treasured and kept in, in the baptismal mandate in Matthew 28. Then. And so it's the same thing with the seminary. There are lots of seminaries out there. I'm amazed at how many seminaries there are. Uh, but when it comes down to it, you have to be very, uh, you have to show a good amount of discretion in uh, choosing your seminary because you've got to choose a seminary that lines up with what the scriptures teach uh, and therefore what, what Christianity, what the true Christian faith believes and confesses then. And quite frankly, uh, I don't think you're going to find that anywhere in the great state of California out there. Um, now, another end, another side of this is um, it does require sacrifice to move out of state. I'm assuming still that you live in California. Um, and it, but, but frankly, uh, the decision to go to seminary requires a lot of sacrifice 
all the way around, as does the ministry. It's uh, sacrifices in a way part of your daily meat and drink. Um, now, that's not just for ministers, though. That's for all Christians, because Christ says to all of his Christians, uh, take up your cross and follow me. Uh, deny yourself. And so, uh, you know, this is something that you might experience if you pursue this route and you are called into the ministry. Who knows where you'll be called? You know, I'm sitting in Kerrville, Texas. I'm from the middle of Missouri, you know, the great show me state. And, you know, I had a very Midwestern, a Midwest-centric view of the universe, and uh, when I received the call uh, from Christ through this congregation, uh, one of my first thoughts was, where in the world is Kerrville, Texas? Uh, and, uh, oh, Texas, really? And not that I had anything against Texas, but I had never, never considered Texas before. Um, and now I've been here what, almost eight years, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. And I'm so happy that I will get to spend the rest of my days here, Lord willing. So, there's part of that too is that uh, we don't really get to put a limit on God or say God here I'm offering this to you but only in X you know only in X Y and Z not in these ways A B C over here that uh, the, the first thing that pops into my head is uh, the story of uh, Judith uh, in, the, in, the, in the apocryphal book of Judith uh, the elders of the city of Bethulia put a time limit on God they say oh well if God doesn't save us in five days then we will surrender to the Assyrians and will be made their slaves and all that because it will be made that that will be a better fate than starving and death and uh, Judith reminds these elders of the town uh, that that although this seems like it's piety it's actually a subtle form of unbelief that's creeping in because you're trying to tell God answer my prayer please but answer it in this specific way or in this specific time frame so there's also that aspect of it of we don't want to put the Lord God to the test in this so you want to choose your seminary based on its doctrine uh, and then also, you don't want to choose it solely based on location or solely on um, pragmatic concerns. Because after all, this is, a, this is a big endeavor you're starting. And your seminary training will, you know, for better or worse, shade the rest of your ministry. And so you want to make sure that you go to a good seminary where you're going to get the truth of God's Word taught. You want to find a seminary uh, where the, the instructors and where the pastors of that church body truly love the Word of God. Where they love uh, Christ Church, and and where they where they seek to learn and just imbibe deeply from the found the pure fountain of Israel, the Holy Scripture. Then, now this leads to our second question because the second question is is kind of my answer, uh, and that is uh, someone asks, dear Pastor, why is Saint Ignatius Lutheran Seminary the best Lutheran seminary? And so, uh, you know, Saint Ignatius is. Uh, St. Ignatius is the seminary of the diocese to which I belong. I know no one saw that coming, that I was going to plug the seminary for my own diocese, but that makes sense. Uh, and it really is a good seminary. Uh, it's located in Malone, Texas. Uh, it's located there at the bishop's congregation. And uh, we actually just opened the seminary this past year, last September. We had our opening service for our first year. And St. Ignatius, its curriculum is what I wish I would have had in seminary. Uh, you can actually find their curriculum guide online. You can look at it uh, at their course at, at, at the course lists and whatnot throughout the years. Um, I'll put that link up on the Facebook page if I can find it. Um, but it's three years. Uh, you are required to move to Malone or probably Hillsboro. It's actually the larger city um, that's close to Malone. Uh, but it's three years. It's very intense. Uh, but what you're going to find there is you're going to find a pure confession of the faith, of, of the one holy Catholic and apostolic faith. You're going, to find, you're going to find a bishop and you're going to find instructors who truly love the word of God, the history of the church, uh, and the strength of the Lutheran confession. Because the Lutheran confession is simply um, what the scriptures teach and therefore what we confess. And so you, we invite you to look at the Augsburg Confession Study videos here on our website as well, answering the questions of what does a Lutheran believe as we look at the confession of the church. Um, this is what we believe, teach, and confess based on Holy Scripture. This is what the Scriptures believe, teach, and confess. So uh, realistically, if someone asked, if, if one of my sons came to me and said, where should I go to seminary, I'm going to tell them St. Ignatius. If a complete stranger like you comes and asks me, I'm going to say, you got to go to St. Ignatius. It's intense, uh, it's hard, but it's worth it. Uh, it, it. Like I said, it's the seminary education that I wish I would have had. You can find them, uh, you can find them online at 
SaintIgnatiusSeminary.com. That's SaintIgnatiusSeminary.com. Spell out Saint. Uh, but we'll, again, we'll put that link below on the Facebook page as well. So uh, again, don't choose for location. Don't choose. Don't let practical concerns, while those do come into play, don't let those be the chief reasons. The chief reason is find a seminary that, that teaches the apostolic doctrine of Acts 2.42 the scriptural doctrine, the confession of the church, of the, of the one Catholic universal church. And then once you get there, once you make that decision, as Jesus says in Luke 9, 62, uh, put your hand to the plow and don't look back because you're in for a wild, challenging, but extremely joyful ride. Thanks for your questions. If you've got a question, make sure and send them to atpholycross at gmail.com because the best thing you can do if you've got a question is to ask the pastor.